Hello everyone. So a quick video on explaining the first question from the homework. To start, I'm just going to explain really quickly here. I'm just going to try to get that to go away. There we go. So right here, we have the electrostatic series. With the electrostatic series, you have a list of objects. The items, as you move down the list, get a stronger hold on their negative charges or their electrons. So vinyl will have a stronger hold on its electrons than cotton will. So whenever you're thinking about these different things, you have to think about the strength of hold on electrons. So to start, we're going to draw some glass and silk. Now, I'm a great artist, so here's our piece of glass, and here's our silk. Inside our glass um, and our silk, we'll just draw each with four charges. I just don't have a lot of room, and this pen's a little tricky to draw with, so oop, switch that. I'll put that pen away. This is before friction, so there's be no friction between them. Therefore, they have all their charges still, so there's uh, their neutral objects. They each have four electrons, so they are overall neutral. This is before friction. What you need to do is before you do um, the next step is let's just draw our glass. Uh, draw the silk. And there's friction, so they're being rubbed back and forth. So imagine uh, I'm taking the one and I'm... Ooh, that's going to move everything. I was hoping I could just move the, the silk. So imagine I rub things back and forth. So there's a bit of friction there between the two. I'll take a second and redraw my charges. So I'm going to draw my positive charges to begin. Ooh, that's not the marker I want. I bet you that's going to go away here in a second. So I'll just redraw those. So there we go. Plus, plus, positive, positive, and one, two, three, four. And then my negative charges. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now I need to look at our electrostatic series. On electrostatic series, I can see, and I'll just kind of take a second, and I will use a highlighter here. For our electrostatic series, I can see that we have got glass right here. Ooh, sorry, I missed it a bit. Glass right here. We've got silk right here. So if we have glass and silk right there on there, we know that glass has a weak hold on its electrons, so it's going to have the weaker hold on its electrons, and silk, because it's lower, is going to have a stronger hold on electrons. So what that means is here's my silk right here, and here's my glass right here. Because the silk has a stronger hold on its electrons, the electrons are actually going to move from the glass to the silk. So I'll just draw three of my charges moving from the glass to the silk. So those negative charges will move over. After friction, I can then draw my silk and my glass. I'll take a second and draw my charges. Remember, positive charges do not move. And let's draw my negative charges. So three of the four negative charges moved over from the glass to the silk. So that means my silk will have a total of seven electrons. Six. Seven electrons in it. And there is a quick explanation of how to do your homework this evening. Take care. Goodbye.